guys, John here, learningguitarnow.com, and welcome to the first uh, lesson in 2020. In this lesson, I want to show you a Jimmy Vaughn inspired solo. Uh, it's in the key of B flat. I'm also going to break down the rhythm guitar part for you uh, in the full version of this lesson. Uh, if you would like the tab, the backing track, and like I mentioned previously, the uh, rhythm guitar part, as well as a full lead lesson, uh, check out the All Access Pass. Now for the tone of this lesson, uh, I'm using a 57 Tweed Twin reissue. It's a Strat here I got. I'm using the uh, middle pickup selector for the lead part. Uh, it's connected to a two notes captor with a IR I created using an AEA R84 ribbon microphone. Also, I got a little room reverb, so the solo uh, tone sounds like this. For the rhythm part, I'm um, using just a finger style, uh, same exact amp settings. Uh, I'm just switching to the neck pickup, and you have like this. I get that kind of a vibe. So uh, I really like the tone that Jimmy Vaughn gets. It's uh, totally different in Stevie Ray Vaughn. So I think there's a lot to learn from his uh, great, one of the legendary blues players. Let's go ahead and start the lesson. Okay, now I'm gonna break this solo down for you into seven separate licks. We're playing this slow blues in the key of B flat. Uh, lick one sounds like this. Okay, so that is lick number one. Uh, we're starting uh, just one uh, count right before the uh, 12 bar blues starts. And so it's, uh, this is 12 eight slow blues, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, like that. And so on the 12th count, we're gonna uh, come up here on the sixth fret of the B string. Uh, we're located uh, this first part of the solo in the first position minor pentatonic scale. That's six, nine, six, eight. First position, minor pentatonic scale, everyone knows. And so this is kind of a BB King inspired lick. So I'm just hitting the sixth fret on the B and then straight to the root note right here, the sixth fret of the high E string. And then jumping to the uh, root note again, but this time on the B string on the 11th fret. So you got. May seem really simple. Uh, well, it's a, a classic BB King lick that sounds great over all kind of blues. Just hitting that root note on the E and then jumping to it on the B. Playing some vibrato and then striking that ninth fret on the high E string, which is the uh, minor third, but bending it slightly to give us in between the minor and major third sound. A uh, quintessential move of any blues uh, guitar sound. Now, uh, we're gonna do this little phrase uh, right before the four chord happens. This is a uh, quick change 12 bar blues. So now we're going to the E flat chord. Uh, so we have this. So it's got a lot of cool things uh, that you hear a lot of different blues guitar players doing. So 11th fret, gonna start this little phrase. And now we're in the second position minor pentatonic scale. Uh, B flat, uh, 11 on the B, then we're going to 9th fret on the high E, 11 on the high E, bend 11 uh, slightly up, that's your flat 5 right in front of that, so this is our 4th uh, interval right here, and that gives you a blues scale if you moved up 2 frets, you know, this is the minor pentatonic 2nd position, 
If you move up on the high E string, you have the blues scale. So we're kind of bending to that flat five interval blues scale note. Just barely. So that kind of in-between sound works great on the minor third to major third. Also sounds cool in your flat five, uh, you know, your fourth interval here, bending fourth to your flat five. You hear that all the time in blues, so that's one thing to take note of. So we have this phrase. Now nine, and then roll 11th of the high E the B. Now hammer roll 9, 11 on the high E string. And then hit ninth fret twice, bending it just slightly, and hitting root note 11th fret on the B string. Now bend ninth fret slightly, and this is the classic blues move you're here. Uh, lots of people doing as well. Uh, it's a great connector little move to get from the second position minor pentatonic scale to the first position minor pentatonic scale. So we have. So if you're not good at doing that, make an exercise out of it, you could go. You hear B.B. Uh, King doing that a lot, John Mayer, Stevie Ray Vaughan, all kind of blues players doing that move. It's just a, a quintessential uh, lick that you have to master. That little phrase again. And I'm really digging into that string. I'm not just striking it kind of lightly. I'm using the round side of the pick and just kind of really trying uh, to get a, a kind of a smooth, fat sound. kind of emphasizing every note that I play, just striking it, um, just kind of accenting a lot of those notes. But that's just a quintessential move to learn. So uh, that is it for lick one. Okay, lick two sounds like this. Okay, so that is lick number two. It's coming in on the sixth count. We're going back to the one chord, the B flat uh, seven chord. And so we're waiting for one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth count, we're gonna play this phrase here. This is our uh, sixth fret on the B string. Back in the first position minor pentatonic scale, bending the ninth for the B string. Now uh, pull it down and we're gonna just go down the minor pentatonic scale. Eight on the G, six on the B. Now bend eight fret up, pull it down, six, eight. And then we're just gonna do this like, pull off, quick pull off. I'm just striking the eight, six on the uh, D string here and hitting that eight fret on the A string without uh, striking it. It's just another classic blues move to get good at. So pretty straightforward lick, uh, lick number two, uh, played over the one chord. Uh, just a, a great thing to do. I love doing that. You can also slightly bend that sixth fret uh, on the uh, G string right there. So if you can't get that good, make an exercise out of it. Practice it in all different keys. So if you go to key of G here. You also don't have to uh, hit that note on the G string twice. You can just hit it once. That's in G. Slowly. Just gotta get hammer on that note on the A string uh, pretty hard. So that's uh, another thing that you could do as a daily practice, adding to your daily practice routine, doing that. Then we have this. That'd be two exercises that you practice daily. If you can't do that stuff real great. I found that if you uh, put a lot of these type of things into a practice routine, say 10, 15 of them, and practice them every day, uh, you'll get them down very quickly instead of just trying to play the whole solo and you flaw that lick uh, every single time, but you know, gradually you'll get better at it as uh, weeks go by. Uh, this way, just attacking all your weaknesses at once every single day, uh, you'll get the solo down uh, much more 
uh, quicker, I think. Okay, so that's it for lick two. Okay, lick three sounds like this. Okay, so that is lick number three. It's coming on the 10th count. We're going back to the four chord, the flat chord. So I'm sliding in from the ninth to the 11th fret on the B string, adding some vibrato, kind of a Clapton vibrato style. You see uh, Jimmy Vaughn uh, doing that kind of two finger style sometimes. Uh, sometimes you may even use one finger. Clapton kind of vibrato uh, and then we're back into the uh, second position minor pentatonic scale, and this lick kind of drags along, so you'd have bend that slightly, uh, that ninth fret on the high E string, roll 11 on the uh, high E and B. Now 9, 11, this is where you kind of drag it. So it sounds really cool to just drag those notes. If that makes any sense to you, it just sounds like you're playing slightly behind the beat, lazy, very lazy sounding. And then uh, we're doing this classic kind of Albert King style lick. Just bending slightly on the ninth for the high E string. Now bend the 11th fret. Now bend the ninth fret again, and then vibrato that 11th fret on the B string. Pretty cool little lick there, uh, lick three, especially if you add that drag effect. Uh, pretty sweet lick there to master. Okay, so that is lick three. Okay, so that does it for the free portion of this lesson. Uh, like I mentioned previously, if you would like access to the full lesson, the rhythm lesson, the interactive tab, and the backing track, check out the all access pass. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.